an American living in Germany singing German Schlager music? Yes, that's right. Hey everyone, Dana here, and today I am really excited to be joined by Sarah Jane Scott, an American living here in Germany singing German Schlager music. So, Sarah Jane, where are you from and when did you move to Germany? So, thanks very much, Donna, yes. for the invitation. You're welcome. I am from Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. a very small town called Honesdale, Pennsylvania, and I was born there, grew up there, and um, then I studied in Boston, and I live since seven years in Germany, in Berlin. Nice, yeah. very nice. Me too. So, we both have yeah. our seven <laughs> years here. What is actually Schlager music? What makes Schlager Schlager? And are there different kinds of Schlager? So, Schlager is very interesting. It, it's really a German thing. Um, when I lived in America, I never heard the word Schlager, mm -hmm. let alone the music. Schlager music is like a oh, type of party music in Germany. Um, there's different styles. It's not only party, but it's like, it comes from the traditional side of music and then it's evolved okay. like lots of music in America, like country music for mm -hmm. instance. Um, so there's more like party schlager, like dance, like Helena Fischer or Vanessa Mai. And then there's also more traditional schlager, folks music mm -hmm. from Marianne Michael. Um, yeah, so schlager can mean a lot of different things, but nowadays um, Schlager is going into a very modern dance direction. Typically, in Germany, um, everyone listens to Schlager when they're on the, at the Oktoberfest, <laughs> when they go skiing, um, parties, birthday parties, weddings, um, or just going out having a nice time with friends. Yeah. And what about you? What kind of Schlager do you sing? So my Schlager is a little bit different. Um, so I am an American, mm -hmm. and so because I grew up with American music and that is essentially my music. Um, my Schlager has a little bit of an American touch to it. I think the style in which I sing is very American. Um, I think also there's a bit of a country influence in my Schlager. Okay. There's a little bit of pedal steel, banjo, mm -hmm. I play the ukulele. Mine is not so much dance Schlager, it's a little bit more... Uh, a little laid back. So you're an American, but you sing in German, which I am so impressed by. <laughs> when did you actually start learning German? So I started learning German in, oof, well I came in 2010 and in, I sort of came about the idea, hmm, maybe in 2011 I'll start learning German. Um, but it was, as you know, it's not easy yeah. at all. This language <laughs> is so beautiful language. I love it. I actually do really like I it. I do too, Isn't but it it's great? tricky. It's really hard. The grammar yeah. is completely backwards mm -hmm. from English. <laughs> and there's so many words in German for things that we don't have in America. Yeah. I tried taking a class, mm -hmm. a German course, an intensive three-week course. Yeah. And then I was really frustrated after the end of three weeks because I learned practically nothing. I don't oh. I don't really learn in that sort of okay. way. So I ha I thought, okay, well, how can I learn this language? I want to stay here. Um, so I thought, hey, I'm a musician. I'm going to listen to German music and then we'll see what happens. And before I knew it, I, there was like a spark lit in me. I heard German music and I was like, this is, this is my thing. I heard this word Schlager and I googled it. Mm -hmm. What's Schlager? And um, yeah, the rest is history. I was just completely in love with it and I started learning some German songs with my ukulele. I didn't understand a word with what I was singing. <laughs> You're like, this is lovely, yeah. I'm playing it. But I then slowly I started uh -huh. learning the language and um, and then now I do it for a living. And wow. I understand what I sing now. Yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. Did you have then like an aha moment when you realized like, I want to do this professionally. I want to sing Schlager. I did. Um, it was pretty much right in the beginning when I heard the word Schlager. Mm -hmm. I heard the music from Helena Fischer mm -hmm. and Andreas Caballier. These are two very famous uh, Schlager singers. And then I heard more old German songs from the 50s and the 60s. Connie Francis and Peggy March. These are two American women who sang in German in the 50s and 60s. I heard them sing in this language with an accent and I thought, hmm, 
I think I could also try to do yeah. that. That looks like fun. <laughs> I fell in love with schlager music, and ever since 2011, it's been my my passion. Yeah. And I, it's fun for me because I can continue to learn. So you mentioned your accent, but I mean, I know that I do not have the best ears for hearing accents, but still, when I listen to your songs, I don't right away hear a strong American accent. I, I do not. How did you work on that? <laughs> In the beginning, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have the best accent. No one's ever gonna <laughs> think that I'm an American. Such um, optimism. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> Yeah, as an American, you probably don't hear. I actually do have quite a strong okay. accent when I sing, but I think even stronger when I speak. Okay. Um, and I think my accent when I sing is not too strong, but it's just with the R's. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious that I'm American when someone hears me, hears me say a word with an R in mm -hmm. it. Flera. Carriera. <laughs> er Erinnerungen. Yes! Oh! Um, ich erinnerm, ich erinnerm mich. Yeah, ich erinnere mich. Yeah. Okay. I think generally, um, I studied music as well, and so we sang lots of songs always in lots of languages without understanding mm -hmm. them. And um, yeah, I think that's it's it's much easier to sing. For instance, like when someone sings in English, you don't always hear an accent. That's true. You mentioned before when we talked on the phone that Schlager audiences can be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. So. I love the Schlager audiences. Mm -hmm. They're so much fun. Okay. It's so I've never experienced something like the Schlager audience in America. And I also I had I played music in America as well. When you go to a Schlager concert, the people want to have a good time. It's okay. all about just like letting it all out mm -hmm. and enjoying life and having fun. And that's such it's such a positive experience to be a part of that and to to witness that. It's a really nice thing to be a part of. And do they yeah. sing along with Always. the songs? Okay. Always. Okay. And also, like, clapping along with the music, yes. or... Uh... <laughs> Germans love to clap. Okay. <laughs> they love... Uh, with the music. Yeah. Much more than Americans. Yeah. Like, okay. anything that has a steady beat. They will clap. Germans... Oh, yeah. You can count on it. Okay. All the time. And it's... They're, they're like... It's a... They're a part of it. They want mm -hmm. to experience it. Okay. And it's just a really fun, happy time. I love okay. it. Okay. You've mentioned now a few Schlager singers, but do you have personally any Schlager singers that you really love listening to? Yes, um, I love listening to modern Schlager and also old Schlager. Um, there's so many good things. For instance, you can't mention Schlager without mentioning Helena Fischer. She's amazing. I love Andreas Gabalier. Mm -hmm. um, he's from Austria. He wears lederhosen. Yeah. Do you find lederhosen as charming as I do? I love <laughs> Mr. German man has a very dashing I, hair. I, I, I love that. I'm charmed by him. He mm -hmm. has this this Elvis thing going on. Like he, <laughs> Elvis and lederhosen. I like that. Yeah, like this American... He has an Ameri also has an American touch mm -hmm. to his music. Um, I really like him. I also really like classic Schlager from Udo Jürgens. Um, I love Peggy March and Connie Francis. I love Club 3. Yeah, but there's always, like all music genres, there's mm -hmm. always cool stuff, new, new cool stuff coming okay. out. Okay, and what about you? What is your latest album? What other projects are you working on now? So, I just had a new album come out. Mm -hmm. It's called So Viel, uh -huh. which means so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my first single has been out for a few weeks. I have a second single coming out in a couple of weeks from now. And um, I have some shows. I am always playing lots of shows mm -hmm. all over Germany, yep. sometimes Austria and Switzerland as well. Um, I also have some TV shows. Everything is on my website. Which I will link to everything. You can find everything down in the description box below. But I for think sure. next mm -hmm. week I have a show in Himmelstadt. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know where that is, but that sounds like a lovely place. Yeah, Himmelstadt. Like Himmel, either heaven, heaven or uh, heaven sky. City. Yeah. yeah. We'll That's, think heaven. Yeah, heaven. we'll go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> sky City. We'll sky that. City we'll is also good. not bad. Yeah. So, so our question for you is... is what is your favorite genre of music and have you ever been to a Schlager party? Please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much, Sarah Jane, for being here with me today and answering my questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. You can find all of the links to Sarah Jane down in the description box below, Facebook and YouTube and her website all down there. Thank you again so much for watching and until next time, Auf Wiedersehen! Yes! <laughs>
We got it. Okay. <laughs> Two American girls saying yeah. it's the same. <laughs> it's perfect. Love it. And what album? No. Okay. <laughs> You've mentioned a few other things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Saying the U with the umlaut. Do you still struggle with the U with the umlaut? That's not a problem no. for me. Okay. It's the R. It's the R. It's just, mm -hmm. I will never get this R. I'll often just forget the verb. I'll get to the end of the sentence yeah. and then Stefan, Mr. German man, will be like, verb. A verb would be good. <laughs> like, any verb. Just pick one. Verb. Oh, right. Sein. 